Remember what Jesus said, the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship Him. In other words, Christ has come to raise the worship of God's people to its highest and most perfect expression this side of heaven. His gift of living water enables us to worship the Father in spirit and truth. This is a worship far surpassing the ancient worship of the Samaritans on Mount Gerizim or even that of the Israelites in the Jerusalem temple. Why? Because the current of this living water propels us into the mystical river of God's very own life. It is God flowing into us and lifting us up literally to share in His divine life. It grafts us into the supernatural communion of love we call the Trinity. That's the breathtaking power of the living water that flows in and through the liturgical actions of the church. And that's the living water we're seeking in this series. So when I say this study is focused upon liturgy, I don't mean we're going to solely discuss like parts of the mass or other forms of liturgy. As important as they are, we're going beyond the externals, beyond rubrics and rituals, beyond vessels and vestments. We're going to explore the deeper mystical realities that unite us to Christ. Like, why do we do what we do? What do the rituals and rubrics point to? What is the underlying reality that gives real power to the sacramental words and actions of the church? Because without that reality, the rules and rubrics are empty. They're just human actions, empty pipes with no water flowing through them. Like even pagans raise their hands, kneel down, bow, and offer sacrifice. So there must be a deeper level. Otherwise, there's no real point. Like all of our liturgy must ultimately flow from a source beyond us. We're, we're just humans doing purely human things. As we'll come to see clearly, that's not the case. But not only are we going to penetrate the divine mystery of where the liturgy comes from, we're going to illuminate where it's all going. Because we're not meant to simply say a few prayers, light a few candles, and shuffle up and down the aisles of our local parish, and then come back a week later to do it again. The liturgy in which we participate is designed by God to move us into a mind-boggling union with Him that almost defies any description. We're talking about participation in the divine nature of God, a gift so ridiculously incredible that even the most eloquent descriptions fall to the floor as mere stammering and stuttering. Even so, we're going for it. We're going to plunge into the living waters of true liturgical life and go exploring. Why? because this is what it's all about. This is the pearl of great price. This is literally what we are made for. Now, obviously, we can't cover everything, but the goal of this Science of Sainthood series is for us to lower our buckets into the water that wells up to eternal life and drink as deeply as possible.